Hello, my name is Jacob Marley, and I'm going to tell you the origins of the Christmas Carol, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Maybe one of the most famous modern Christmas carols. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was written in 1939 by Robert Louis May. The, de the department store retailer, Montgomery Ward, asked May, one of their copywriters, to come up with a Christmas story. Every Christmas, the department store gave away coloring books as a promotional gimmick and decided to make their own to save money. May had a talent for writing friendly stories for children, and so they asked him to write something they could put in a book to hand out to all the girls and boys that visited their store. May was small and shy as a child and was often picked on by bullies. He decided to use this as his theme for his original story and chose to do it about a reindeer with a glowing red nose. At first, the Montgomery Ward executives weren't keen on the idea because red noses were often associated with heavy drinking and alcoholics. But a happy and energetic illustration by one of May's artist friends, Denver Gillian, convinced them that a red-nosed reindeer was the way to go. It was a good thing, too, as Rudolph's popularity flew off immediately. Montgomery Ward distributed 2.4 million copies of the Rudolph booklet in 1939. Robert May had created the character and the popular story on assignment, and so Montgomery Ward still owned the copyright. May was deeply in debt for medical bills due to his wife's battle with terminal illness. May's wife passed away. But he was able to persuade Montgomery Ward to give them the copyright to Rudolph, which not only pulled him out of debt, but gave him financial security for the rest of his life. The popularity of Rudolph exploded after Robert May's brother-in-law, a songwriter named Johnny Marks, developed the lyrics and melody to go along with May's already popular story. The record industry wasn't too interested in the story at first because they felt it meddled with the classic story of Santa Claus, which is perhaps the first time that the entertainment industry turned down the opportunity to mess around with the character's original story. But finally the song was recorded by none other than the famous cowboy singer Gene Autry and immediately became a massive hit selling two million copies in one year. The story of Rudolph has been adapted many times since, but perhaps none more famously than the stop-motion animated special by Rankin Bass in 1964 which is still shown on network television every year. Now, in case you grew up on the, at the South Pole and never heard the story of the most famous reindeer of all, Rudolph was a reindeer born with a shiny red nose that made him the popular target of ridicule and bullying. But one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa Claus himself asked Rudolph to lead his reindeer-driven sleigh so that he could still make his gifting rounds through the foggy and filthy air. That's the origin of another Christmas carol, and while we're on the subject of Christmas carols, don't forget to see Foothills Performing Arts production of Charles Dickens' classic story, A Christmas Carol, at the J.E. Broy Hill Civic Center, December 1st through the 4th. Happy Holidays! and Merry Christmas from FPA.